Hello Visual Effects people, I'm AK and this is Ninja Player, a generic flipbook player for Unreal. And Ninja Player has been developed together with Ninja Tools and this is the first standalone release. Unreal is by default very good at playing flipbooks and Ninja Player is extending these default Unreal features and I would like to point you to the two main features of Ninja Player. First, by having a look at this uh, 16 frame flipbook here and playing it without frame blending on the left, you could see that it's very crude, we are jumping from one frame to the next and by using uh, the Unreal default frame blending you could still see how our frames are fading to the next. Now compare these two versions, please, in the middle. Uh, the version on the right is using these velocity frames, this velocity data coming from the simulation where this flipbook has been baked. And by using the velocity data, we could pretty much tell mm, pixel offset uh, where pixels are coming from and going to and producing a very smooth playback. And this concept could be further developed by blending in additional noise and distorting it with this velocity data like a flow map. So uh, these demo levels are all demonstrating how uh, a simple flipbook player could be extended by using uh, this velocity based frame blending and flow maps. Have a look at this one for example. It's just 8 frames captured from a fluid simulation together with velocity data and playing it without frame blending it's a very crude minimal information and frame blending makes it possible to have a smooth playback and to add uh, using the velocity data we could distort uh, a noise texture in synchron with this basic fluid simulation data so it's a very low amount, low number of frames and still a smooth playback. That's what velocity based frame blending and flow maps are giving us. Another feature I would like to demonstrate is based on a custom Niagara module, the Ninja Player Niagara module, and it is mapping these uh, flipbooks to particle arrays. So it is important to notice that we are not mapping individual particles, but masses of particles. And once uh, Ninja Player is reading in the flipbook information, basically anything, uh, any parameter could be driven with the flipbook data. In this case, we are driving particle density, and in this case, we are uh, driving uh, the vertical scale of these mesh particles with the flipbook, but looking at all these levels you will see that uh, basically anything could be driven any particle parameter could be driven using uh, flipbook data so it's a very simple and efficient way to drive uh, Niagara effects using flipbooks so please have a look uh, at these demo levels these were the two main features, velocity based frame blending and this Niagara module. Now shortly having a look uh, at the project structure, we are in the Ninja Player folder. It comes as a whole project and demo level contents are stuffed into these two purple folders. It's 100 megabytes. It is this much because it contains 40 flipbooks. So you could have a look and examine how these flipbooks look like and how velocity maps are built and all these demo levels are populated with these flipbooks and if you remove this optional demo level content from the project the remaining part is just 6 megabytes so it's 6 megabytes that you could include into your project the most important things are in these two folders core material functions and core Niagara modules. Having a look at these material functions, they are quite simple. 
This function is for uh, the linear frame blending, for example. You could include this function into your materials in case you would like to build uh, your own player. And a similar structure is built uh, as a Niagara module. Having a look at this module, you could see that it's almost the same as the material function. And you could include this module into your Niagara emitters and have this uh, flip player functionality there. And we have base materials. The base materials already contain these material functions. You could see these three functions here. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> the multiple window capturing is a bit tricky. So uh, this is the no frame blending function, linear frame blending and velocity based interpolation. This uh, basic player material is pretty much uh, just to preview flipbooks. And we have an advanced base material. And using this advanced base material, you could perform a geometry distortion using word position offset. You could apply a refraction on the materials. Uh, it is coming with color gradients, tone mapping, supporting the mapping of individual particles. So it's pretty much uh, production ready. In case if you don't want to build your own materials, we have a ready to go player material. And having a look at the interface of this player material, which is like uh, having a look at a material instance made from it, the parameters are collected into groups. Um, I would like to remind you that the whole project is branched uh, from uh, the original uh, Ninja Tools project, which means a lot of the Ninja Tools tutorials based on material instances and flow maps could be used here. So I will be linking Ninja Tools tutorial videos in this playlist and you could have a look at these. Uh, Ninja Tools is capable of uh, performing fluid simulation and baking that fluid simulation into flipbooks. And this project, Ninja Player, is pretty much just uh, the player that is interpreting uh, the flipbook data for uh, meshes and user interface and particle systems. Now, having a look at these levels, we have eight levels. And um, the first level is demonstrating how flipbook data is used on meshes. And the second level is a demonstration of flipbook data used with uh, cascade particles. And it is also comparing Ninja Player to the traditional uh, Unreal materials. So we have these Unreal materials implemented as well. And in case uh, you're interested how flipbook playing goes in Unreal, you could have a look at these materials demonstrating the native built-in Unreal flipbook player functions. So um, again, a few examples with particles and Ninja Player used with particles. And moving on to the next level, it is widgets. A very, very simple case. So we have like this uh, scene here and we have this widget uh, initialized on screen and this little demonstration is really just how to use uh, flipbooks on widgets. So we have individual particle mapping uh, on Niagara systems. And then these levels I have been showing previously, uh, demonstrating how this custom Niagara module is mapping uh, flipbooks on these systems. Yeah, let me just uh, select one of these systems, go to the details panel and have a look how it looks like in Niagara. Uh -huh. It's pretty simple and if you have a look uh, at the module stack, here you could see this uh, Niagara module, Ninja Flipbook Player with no blending for example. And by double clicking the module you could see that the uh, structure is pretty simple. Um, so that's the basic concept. We have demo, demo levels demonstrating all possible cases how Ninja Player could be used inside Unreal. And we have core functions and base materials and some experimental materials with these uh, 
at low maps and applying additional noises. This one, for example, is just uh, two single frame data, a density and a velocity frame, and a single flow map making it move. So we have examples from uh, the most simple cases. This is again just combining static frames. Um, simple cases and complicated cases demonstrated as well. Uh, really that's it. Demo levels, core functions, base materials and loads of uh, instances and example content. That's what the Ninja Player project is. For those of you who would like to play flipbooks inside Unreal. Shortly that's it and thank you for your patience. See you next time.